<laughs> if you guys only knew what the hell we were just chuckling at. Mm. But how you guys doing? How's it going? We're here again for another episode of Horror with Search 30. And we're reviewing a movie called Incantation. It is on Netflix. And I'm going to tell you. From Taiwan. Mm hmm. Like he said. Or he said. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. I was chewing a cookie. I'm going to tell you guys this. Too. This is going to be a spoiler episode, like every other episode is. So if you want to, if you have the intention of watching this movie, you don't want any spoilers. Just watch this right after you watch the movie. That's all I'm going to yep. say. Well, this has been out a while. So. It's been out a couple of months. It's been out a couple of months. But still, it's still fairly new. I mean, it came out this year. Yep. But, uh, well, further ado, I have an intro for you. Is ready for incantation? I know I am. You should be. You should be. And if you didn't see this movie, I'm going to tell you guys this. It's going to be a spoiler episode like all the other episodes are. And if you don't want to be spoiled before, you know what I mean? Just stop right here. Just stop right here. Because we're going to spoil the shit out of this movie. And uh, yeah, so check it out. And if you don't care about that, then tune in. I want you guys to tune in. So watch the live, watch the replay, tune in. But uh, yeah, as soon as I shut the fuck up, we're all going to start talking again. I'm shutting the fuck up right now. So welcome to the madness, people. Welcome to the madness. <laughs> Yep. Yep, yep, yep. The madness. Welcome to it. We're here and we're ready. Now, James, you watched this movie damn near when it came out, right? Yep. <clears throat> and you were, yep. yeah, because it was, it was a while. You kept telling me, like, yo, you gotta, you're, the, matter of fact, you were like, you gotta watch this movie. So, next kind of wheel we make, throw this motherfucker on the wheel, basically. Yep. And one, ended up making it's one of your favorite types found footage. Yes, which I'm glad you brought that up. We were speaking we were, so now off the air, off camera, off whatever you guys want to call it. Me and James were talking a little while ago and we were talking about found footage movies. And I was telling them I said I watched quite a few in the past. I mean at least three, including this, maybe four in the past couple of weeks. Starting with honestly Blair Witch, I believe. Yeah, Blair Witch, mm-hmm. Blair Witch Two, this, um, and there was like one or two more. I can't think of the one. There was one that was really good on Shutter. I did watch. I just can't think of what it's called at the top of my head. But it was good. It was funny. I highly recommend it. I just wish I could think of the name. Sorry about that, people. That was a terrible <laughs> description of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. It, it sounds think good. It sounds good. It, it is. But but yeah, yo, like you were telling me, like, because this is on the this is on the international wheel. And you're like, yo, you're gonna enjoy it. You know what I what I do wish though, if I could say one one complaint I have that I can think of off the top of my head, I wish this movie was subtitled. Well, you could have turned it on. Oh, you're talking about in their in their language, and we've got to read it. Yeah, I, I agree. I, that's why I confused it earlier. I was like, "Oh, don't forget it's subtitles." And I was like, "Wait a minute, it's not fucking subtitled. Never mind." Yeah, like because you think it was because I, I feel like the parts that you were that you would normally well, my wife jumped. She watched it with me, but that you would normally jump at or whatever. Had it been in, and I, I excuse me, I don't know what language there was. This where was this from? Taiwan. Taiwan, Taiwanese or something like that. Taiwanese. I don't know Taiwanese, what yeah. like I don't know what their language is called, so I don't want to just say a language. But um, I'd rather be in their native language. I'll say that. That's a that's yeah. A, I'll say I'd rather be in their native language than having to read the subtitles. Some think, parts are, but not the main movie. It's yeah, just the yeah. little side pieces. Because it pull it for me when you see these type of films and you know it's supposed to be a foreign film. You just want that feel. You want that whole feel, and it I, for me it pulls me in more. I'm not saying this movie didn't pull because yeah. this movie was. I'll give you my rating a little bit. This movie was really fucking good, but I felt like this would have made me like it a little bit more. I don't know how much it would have changed my rating, but it definitely made me like it a, a little bit more. Just because, again, you kind of get that of like, oh shit. 
and I remember back in the day, I wasn't always a big fan of subtitles. So I'm like, oh fuck, I gotta watch the movie and try to read. It. Like now, I love it. I'm like, if yeah. it's a foreign film, I fucking that's what I want. That's what, like, yeah. that's what I fucking want because it's just, it's just. That's why I keep going to the uh, international. I keep going to uh, Taiwan or uh, mainly Korean horror movies because mm-hmm. I like the subtitles. Yeah, and the stories are always crazy. It's more intense. Fuck yeah. When you're reading it and they're and they're yelling it or screaming in their in their language, mm-hmm. it's like you you feel like you're reading it. And you're sounding like it, like the intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you can it's, just feel it. It's crazy. Yeah, hell yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan, man. I'm telling you, it's like I if the umbrella of all the horror categories, like you can go from like oh supernatural, found footage. Uh, Taiwan movies, Korean movies. Mm-hmm. I'm leaning towards the international horror movies you know, over everything else, man. I'm not mad it's, at that because it's crazy. They pump out so many, like Netflix. They just keep dropping foreign movies and horror movies. They're not bad, and That's... they're not bad at all. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy, you and they're so them. intense and shit. I just love them, but yeah. except for this past couple of months some shit did drop that i guess say is better than that stuff but <laughs> terrifier 2 came oh out. yeah oh yeah yeah but that's different that's different okay barbarian Barbar- you know what i'm gonna say this right now if no one knows what barbarian is do not look it up and Don't. i thought it was just me i've been seeing this on the internet people says go in blind yeah there's so many twists and everything that you don't want to ruin it for yourself and, and Casey, try to up, figure it out. What's up, Casey? Check out the scene snobs, people. Dope podcast. They're actually going to be up next at nine o'clock Eastern time. The scene snobs. Go over there. Give them a like. Give them a love. Mm-hmm. But um, what were you? What did you just send off with James? I don't know. <laughs> Shit. Oh yeah, the uh that's right. Thank you, Casey. The What's umbrella up? type thing. Like Terrifier 2 came out and everything. So I'm leaning towards back towards this way. But the movies I've been recently searching for is the horror uh international, international. callow. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's what I was gonna say. Like that's I, the supernatural stuff. When it comes with I, demons and ghosts and shit, man, they're yeah. they're fucking good at making those movies. I'm gonna have to give you credit for this though, James. I know. I'm gonna have you. to give you credit for this. You already know what the fuck I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say it out loud because you know when someone's right, they're right. I wasn't arguing against it, but he was just like giving yo James, what do you, you want to watch? What do you want to review? And a lot of his picks were a lot of foreign films. Yes, a lot of foreign films. Yes, hell yeah, man! It it really is. It really freaking is. How's it going, G? It's good. It's good. But, I'm loving. Uh... Here too. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is what I like to see. Ch- chat with each other in here too, people. Don't yeah. worry about it. We're all here chilling. Incantation is fucking crazy. Yeah, it is. It is. But like I was saying though, from us reviewing all these films together for the past since we really stepped it up during the pandemic. So I'll say I'll I'll just credit it to say since the pandemic because that's when we really stepped it up and shit. And a lot of the foreign films was. I'll say at least 75% was your picks. And oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and the, the thing I, that I like about it is it's like, okay, cool. It made me appreciate those type of films more to the point where I'm just like, yo, what the fuck? Yes, yes. Between that and I'll say the um, Popcorn and Pints and the podcast that we used to have, Cinematic Canon. Yeah. Just because all the films, like the foreign films we watch on all those, I'm just like, yo. When it comes to action and horror, foreign films is where it's fucking at, people. Uh, foreign films is where it's fucking oh, at. Oh, Casey, you're right. Japanese are brilliant at demonic theme building. Yeah, the, they do. They have good stories with uh, demons, demonic shit. Japanese know how to fuck them, uh, tell those stories. You know, you know what I want to add on to that, too? Is... Of, I didn't see a Japanese horror movie in a while. I'm going to look up one. What, what it is with that, too, is when they add the kids... You're yeah. Like, oh fucking, shit. Yeah. The kids, little fuckers. 
Yeah, it makes it like they're possessed and shit. It makes it more fucked up. Not even like attacking you, just standing there with yeah. their head looking at the ceiling, just going, uh, <laughs> it's like yeah. fucking, you're like, damn. I'll, I'll even say this the creepier, the creepier ones are the little girls with the long black hair. <laughs> it's that whole fucking it's the, it's the, icon, it's the icon it's in their face and shit you can't see their eyes it's that because there's so many things they can do with it like you could see some old like dead hands opening up the, you know what i mean opening up yeah. the hair you could just see a regular you could see whatever and i think that's dope about it and you because you're always thinking of a like, like when you're thinking of kids right you think of like a, a little boy as like a little asshole because we were little boys or little assholes but you think a little girl is like a little princess and you protect her but you see this little princess like here but fucking trying to kill you, you know what i mean like yeah. a, Living Annabelle Dow, no, exactly. But it works in those fucking movies. That's what I love about him. It does. Kids like and, it, it'll go down as kids in horror movies are yeah. creepy. Yeah, they're like with the category of clowns and shit and dolls. I'll like say kids are like, yo, I don't want to see movies with fucking I'll demonic say, kids. Honestly, I might even have to give them number one in my for me for me it I'll could say, be. for me because. I mean, clowns, it's, it's almost expected. You know what I mean? All the other things, it's almost expected. Kids, you're always thinking of, like, innocent, protecting, and then you're just like, what the fuck? Yep. You're looking at a gauge on your hands. Exactly. That. And speaking too. of that, this was off, uh, not, you can't say they're facts, because this is the story of the family, but this is true events that they took this from. Mm. There was a, f- a family of six that said they were possessed. Oh. And that's why they were killing each other. Like the, the one daughter died. They're we saying need- they were possessed by all the uh the deities. We need of, to of Taiwan. We- okay, so you know what we need to do, James? First of all, Casey, I hear a lot of people say that. A lot of people say that. Like after they have kids, these type of movies. There are some people that won't even. Didn't you say your brother won't even watch certain horror? Oh movies? yeah, you're right. My brother won't watch uh, anything uh, possession movies if it has a baby in it, a kid in it, because ever he was fine with it until he had my nephew, and he don't want it because he said he dreams of uh, uh, his son possessed and shit. So he's like, nope, can't watch those no more. Okay. Wake up so maybe it, maybe it does change. I don't know. I'm not a father yet, so yeah, I get it though. But yeah, anyways. So between that and then found footage is like a is like a mix between the old, both of us. I probably like it a little bit more than you do. I feel I, I like them. Right. I could be well. Wrong. Listen, you. I'll let you say you like them more than me. If you gave Blair Witch a ten, you got problems. But... I love Blair Witch. So I'm gonna say you really like found footage way more than me. <laughs> like you want to punch him, but you, then you're like, no, that's and, really they, and they say something fucked up. Like I don't know, like some fucked up shit. You're like, wait, what? The fuck are you talking like, to? Sally don't like how you talk and just turns around and walks away from you. You're like, wait, what, bitch? <laughs> Who the fuck is Sally? <laughs> Sally paid no motherfucking bills up here. Someone talk however the fuck I want to talk. <laughs> Real quick, James. What is your rating? Oh, okay. I really enjoy this movie. I mean, it's not perfect, Mm-mm. but I just like had the storytelling it and and how they are like they talk to you, like the girl was talking in the camera, like she's talking to us. I as of right now, I'm at a high eight, like leaning towards a nine. She, I'm at the nine, man. I'm at the nine because, like you said, she's talking to you. It's found footage, and like I was just ex- saying earlier, the more found footage I've been watching, same with like this paranormal type and all this type of. St- um, what's the other one? Psychological horror and all that kind of shit. I'm starting to appreciate and enjoy a hell of a lot more to where number one by far is always going to be slasher because that's what got me into this genre and that's my high appreciation for it. That's probably why I, I, I that's probably why I hold Friday the Thirteenth so high in my regards because that's one of the that's one of the franchises I know for a fact that got me into this beautiful fucking genre of horror and making all these awesome friends through it friends family all that stuff through horror my horror fam you guys it's because of slashers and because of friday the 13th so that's always gonna be not the best movies i know but it got me into this shit so it's always up there and then i think like the paranormal the psychotic shit is second 
found footage might be third. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. And the reason why I say it is because with found footage, I mean, it brings the story like to your face. It brings it to, it brings us in more. That's one. And then like, it gets how she was talking to you at the end. It's like, they're talking to you, like the people out there. It's just, it's just, I just enjoy it. And I, I don't mind when it's like how going back to Blair, Witch. yes, that I fucking love that. I don't care what anyone says. That's a 10 to me. I haven't rewatched it recently. It's still a 10, but, um, I like how simple it was, like how it looked like just amateur, just some friends going out with a camera and recording and recording their adventure or whatever the case may be. And I like them now, even with the better technology and better equipment and, you know, like the podcasters and YouTubers and all that shit that are doing it in the movies, because it's just like what's going on now, what people would be doing. So I think it's dope. I think it's dope. And there's some good ones that are out that you guys should go check out. There's a few on Shutter. I forgot their names. So go check those out. Um, Yeah. So that's another reason I like uh, this movie. If you think about it, you look at it, she's interacting with us like like we we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Because she's in a camera, found footage, telling the story, recording her daughter, recording the, the fucking <clears throat> shit around her, the curse she knows that yeah. she's not crazy. But then there's like found footage inside that. Because the, the flashbacks with the people. The oh, crew, in the cave. Yeah, in the cave and everything where they broke the um, rules. Yes. And that's why they're possessed. They're cursed by this fucking deity, uh, deity thing, and uh, so that's like a found footage inside a found footage movie. That yeah, you're right. You know, it's like look, just what Geo said. Oh, there's no imaginary friend. That's a ghost in your house. Oh shit! I had an imaginary friend named Duga when I was a kid. Well, you had a ghost buddy. Oh, nice. He's friendly. That's true. <laughs> I was saying a lot of what the fuck, yo. Okay, I got a question for you. Yeah, bucks. I'm so, with you nine though, man. Close. Here's a, que- here's a question for you. Oh shit. So when she's talking to the camera and she's doing those symbols and she goes, "This is how you say this." Whom you know? I can't. I don't remember what the the chant. Uh, I didn't do it. When you say "do it with me," did you second guess? You're like, "Yo, fuck you, bitch. I'm not. Yo, I'm not summoning no fucking no, demon." Me, <laughs> So the funny thing is, myself and my wife are both like, no, nope, hell no. You're on your own. <laughs> Every time she said that, I'm like, no. Did you do it? You know, it's like it's like they're trying to get the world where everyone who watches this fucking <laughs> say this chant because it needs a certain amount of fucking people to say it. To it was, you, you know, it's, it's crazy. One of those things where it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it would be cool to see a bunch of people do, but at the same time, I'm like, just in case. Yeah, Maybe. just in case I'm not involved in that shit. Yeah, no, fuck that shit. I get exactly when I see that. I can see people do that. They're like, "Fuck no," because they're, they're like, she's doing this hand signal like sign. Yeah, and, and she's, she's just like, repeating where I close. I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. That's what I was thinking of too. But yeah, but it's fucking. I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy. The Did thing you, is, I mean, it's true. This movie, I think nothing would have happened to her daughter <laughs> if she didn't go get her. I think she was the cursed. The, but she, she was pregnant. The baby wasn't cursed. But she had to go like, give her. No, she had to give her daughter to the gods, though. And she oh, did. good point. Yeah. So I don't know if her daughter would have been found by that or not. Um, um this, I, this it's fucking crazy how they're slamming her heads. That was yo the tables and shit. I'm like, <laughs> god damn. It was awesome, but it was I was like, oh shit. I wasn't expecting that. But this yeah. movie, oh, it, it 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 makes you have like not touches you in the feels, it makes you sad, but it touches you in the feels like damn, like this is this is some deep heavy shit. But yeah. it, it's so good, but without that deep shit, this movie wouldn't have been that good. Because you yeah, like no. every aspect of this film you needed, and you had like the, the paranormal type thing, I guess you could say. Um found footage, cult it, you could say a cult. In a sense, that was definitely a cult. That was not a religious thing. That was a cult. Oh, the place? It's uh well, yeah. I don't know about a cult, it's just in different countries. Like if you like you get your harvest and everything because you pray to the gods. So when something bad happened, you you gotta do sacrifices for the gods and everything to keep your good fortune. You know, so when you sit there, please let it rain for my crops, and you gotta give sacrifices like food, blessing, like offerings. So that village could be like a real folklore from that. Like I said, that's where they got the story from. 
that people they do that every day. Maybe, and, maybe. I don't know. It's fucking it's it's crazy, man. For one, the motherfuckers. For okay, this is what I was a little confused though. So they went there. Wasn't the one kid related? Was that his grandfather or uncle or something? Yes. The, actually, I think both they both of them were because the dude there was the dude in the front seat and the chick. They were the dating. chick was the girlfriend dating. Yep. And then the, the two the the, the dude, asshole friend. The no, that was I thought that was his cousin or some shit. Because remember how they said only family? They didn't want her going there at first. Yeah, there was only three of them, right? The two guys and the girl. Yeah, the two guys were related. Yeah, yeah. They were cousins, I believe. And then the girl. Okay, so this is what bothers me. They're there to videotape the ceremony and everything, right? Mm -hmm. And then they break the rule and they go into that cave thing with the tunnels and shit behind the walls and stuff. Wouldn't you think if you grew up knowing that stuff, why you they should have be believing it like they do. Why are they going? No, oh, I need proof. I'm going to record this shit. You know what would happen? Like they tell you the stories. I mean, but you you got to think about it though. It, I mean, it's been told for many generations, I'm sure. But you got to think of like after a while, once it gets to a younger generation, you know what I mean? It's it's not gonna it's not gonna be the same, especially if they haven't seen anything and they're moving. Like say if they're not living around that area, they're not living. You know what I mean? Then to them, it's just like a story they heard. And then you have kids that were like, say you have okay, so say you have. Like that uncle's kids, or whatever, and he's going up to see his uncle's thing. So say that kid grew up, you know, say this happened in let's say fucking Boston. Let's just say use a whole different state. It's say that happened in Boston. And he was born in Boston, but he was raised in let's just say Albany, New York. So he knows about the story and shit, but it's not the same. Yeah, I guess. Thing. I don't I'm just throwing that out there. I really don't know. Yeah. But it's crazy because he, he's breaking the rules. He knows his culture, like I said, the culture part. I, I understand he wants to film it and shit, but you're fucking your family over, man. Yeah. You're like, I'm like, you don't go fucking break shit and go in there and end up killing yourself because you possess and you slam your head into a fucking wall. Just <laughs> wild shit, man. Why? Like, this, this is, oh my God. This is another movie I'll say. Honestly, people, if you haven't seen it yet, and you really want to watch it, I would say stop listening to the show now. Go watch it. Come back and finish the episode. Start it over and just watch it all the way through. I because, highly recommend it, too. I like this movie a lot. Um, I'm thinking next week. I know what movies I want to review already. They're not on the wheel, but just mm -hmm. because. Terrifier 2 and Barbarian. Because Barbarian is another movie I'm that in. motherfuckers need to see. I'm in. Yeah, those are... Uh, like, that. that's like top two movies i've seen this year so far those are fucking yeah those don't i'm not gonna say anything but i am gonna say something those two movies may end up on my on a couple lists on two lists yeah. but on we'll save lists. it when we review them with our thoughts yes yes oh we didn't even oh so by the way <clears throat> gonna do uh end of the year lists it's gonna be probably a two-parter episode i'm guessing um We'll figure out what dates exactly and all that when we do it. I actually, I may even save it to start off the year. Okay, whatever and works. Here's, here's where the here here were the uh, movies of the year for 2022 for us top ten, which would be we're, so. Here's the list. One is for horror movies that came out in 2022. Second list is worst movies of the year that we reviewed. Or no, worst movies of the year that you've seen for the first time. It doesn't have to be that came out this year. It's the worst movies that you've seen for the first time. Yeah. Third list is best movies you've seen all year, but for the first time. Now, if you watch it multiple times this year, but you've seen it for the first time this year, that still counts. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Giovanni, you have to watch them, man. Oh, he never, my. He didn't watch the Terrifier. I told my brother, too. He didn't see him yet, either. And I met, reminded him yesterday. I was like, "You watch those yet?" He was like, "No." I was like, "Dude, trust me, fucking watch them." Yes, yes. So, yeah. So you got you guys got it. <laughs> Next Tuesday and Thursday is going to be Terrifier and uh, Barbarian. I'm not Terrifier sure. Terrifier two and Barbarian. Ter yes, yes, yes. Terrifier two and Barbarian. We'll see what oh, day it is. Either I mean, either day works. Either one works. They're both fucking. 
Yo, there's there's fucking little kids dressed up like Art the Clown. Yes. Trick or treating. There's, there's reasons why I'm not gonna spoil I see, it. Pic- I see pictures on Facebook and shit. People dressed up like art. I'm not gonna spoil why, but it's spreading, man. It's spreading. Next- I'll tell you what, when we review the movies, when you're going to get spoilers for both those movies and Barbarian. Honestly, I'm going to say this. Barbarian, if you have not watched that yet, if you have not heard anything about it, you just heard the name. If you have HBO Max, once this podcast is over, watch the scene styles. And once that's over, if you're still awake, go watch Barbarian. That shit was good. Do not look up anything. Go in blind. No, go in blind. Like That's one of those movies, James, that I feel, and I know we're going to discuss it again next week. You gotta watch it at least twice, probably. Yeah. I think to figure out the whole thing, catch all the yeah. twists, and know what's going and on here. I would even say, I mean, I'm not saying like watch it like back to back, like you know, what I mean, like watching it. That's yeah, literally back to back. But I'd say maybe if you watch it, say this week, watch it again like next week, just to kind of really, if you've never, especially if you've never seen it. If it's you've one of those movies you you try to figure it out, you think you're <laughs> right, and it just flips on you. And I loved it. That's it what does. I loved. It was great. So that's why people go in blind. That's my only advice. I want to say that. I mean, if possible, I say go in blind for any fucking movie you can. Well, yeah, but certain but movies, there's, there's like certain this, ones, like, yeah, yeah. And what what I liked about this one though was Barbarian was one that you didn't really you heard some people talking about it, but not too many people. Yeah, they didn't say anything what it was about. They just said it's crazy. Yo, it's fucked yeah. up. But you didn't. And but, I'm like, okay. Like, there wasn't like a big promotion for it. To see, I, mean, I know I seen a trailer and um, when you know at the movies and shit. Which actually this weekend we're going to see uh, Pray for the Devil. I'm, I, we're going to see. Oh not this yeah. Okay. I, I heard uh, something about that already though. People are saying that it's um leans towards a cult type movie. That's fine. So I don't know. I'm like, I heard that. I was like, come on, really? Uh, I'll go well, check it out still, though. Oh, I hope because it's, it's like I said, it's my, that's my shit I'm drawn to. So, which I am going to try to get together with these fucking guys, James, both Chris's, whoever else is on the Z network that lives near us. We're going to go to the movies one of these days. We're going to go see a horror movie and non horror movie. We're going to have some fun. <clears throat> Oh, Winnie the Pooh comes out in January. Yes, yes. And that's going to be... A yeah, okay. Series, right? That's, that's going to be... Was it? What I, from um, what Kelvin posted in the group. Shout out to you, Kelvin. Oh, it's going to be at the theaters. It's going to be... It's, gonna, it's dropping in the theaters supposedly just for one day. Yeah, just like Terrifier 2 until people yeah. want that, liked it and then they put it back in the theaters again. Well, yeah, they... They yeah. Well, they, yeah, that's how it works, man. You get that, you give them that taste, and now everybody wants to see it. So you beg them, and there goes the. the I hope it works for. Them. I really do. Like, no, I, I really do because it worked for Terrifier. You know, they're like, we're going for it. You got to. You got to. They should have done it with the first one. Imagine someone seeing that on the movie theater. That one kill scene. Oh my gosh! I People wanted- would have lost their fucking minds. That'd be amazing. Oh, I love the kills of Terrifier. He's mm-hmm. like top, one of the top slashers, man. Our clown is, he's become an iconic. Yeah, he is. He is. And it's awesome. Because you, the, the, the dope thing about it was, yes, I know there was um, All Hallows Eve, which I'm not sure the gentleman who played Art the Clown in that All Hallows Eve. Oh, yeah, that was a different guy. But shout out to him because he's the one who brought, I guess, between yeah, them, yeah. brought her to the screen, you know, brought him out to life. So shout out to that whole team, and then shout out to David Howard Thornton for what he's did and what he's doing with Art the Clown, yeah. and shout out to that whole team because that's just amazing. And he's doing the Evil Grinch. Yes, I can't fucking wait. <laughs> and there's another, there's another horror, horror or violent Christmas movie coming out. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't think of the name. I know I've been thinking about it for the past. Fucking two days, I think. Well, okay, so those two movies. I'll, on, I'll look it up. Those two movies, we'll we'll figure out. We'll do those two for the Christmas week. Oh, it's that dude, the spa, uh, the Santa Claus, right? Hmm. Uh, hold on. It's um. Go on. I'll, I'll let you know. 
ego. Okay, okay, okay. What was I just saying? Incantation, James. Christmas, bloody Christmas. Maybe. Look, okay, you gotta look that one up. It's a, it's like, it's the real Santa, but shit keeps going wrong, so he's like killing pe fucking people. Yes, yes. Something. <laughs> That shit looks crazy. I hope that's coming. And, out. and it's dude, it's the dude from Stranger Things. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, I hope that comes out in fucking theaters, man. Because I'm going to see that shit in theaters. I'm fucking badass. I'm going to see that shit in theaters. Well, yeah, back to incantation. So well, with with incantation, is this some I'm trying to think. I know you'd recommend it because you told you've been telling me to watch it for months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could you? Is there anybody that you know in your family that would watch this movie and enjoy it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like, who's or anybody in your household? I should have said. Uh, my sister would definitely do it. She okay. would watch this one. They'll probably freak her out because of the fucking little girl and shit. You should tell her about it. But uh, I told this... her to watch Terrifier too. She didn't watch it yet. <sighs> so. You know, you know what we need to do to her, James, if you don't mind? Anytime you give her a good movie recommendation that she doesn't listen, we have to give her like three bad ones right after. Just Oh, she usually asks the bad ones. She goes, did you watch anything bad? Because her and her friend are, are trying to watch the worst horror movies. Did they watch Blood Lake? Yeah. My sister said, fuck you to me. That's good. She Actually, she messaged it to me after it was over. I got a text from her. She said, fuck you. <laughs> Didn't she say she wanted the worst movie ever? She said, thank hey, you. Hey, I don't know if she said it was the worst movie ever, but she hated it. She couldn't believe how bad that was. I mean, it's so bad. That's our fucking, like we keep repeating. That's our, we compare everything to. It's bad. Yeah, it, it was. So. Congratulations to Blood Lake, though, because you keep getting talked about. Yeah. Maybe you're getting more views, I hope. <laughs> Even though I hated it, but hey, you guys gotta eat. I hope you eat. Shout out to me though, guys. Just do that at least. But now watching uh Incantation again, mm -hmm. this is the second time for me. Um Were there it, things makes, it makes me want to search for international horror movies tomorrow. You know, the while I'm working, watch it. I want which I'm gonna do this probably i'll probably make an idea of it like write down the idea of it uh international like uh what is it like paranormal type like just those type of movies yeah just flat, you know what i mean like something similar to this in a yep. sense but then also you know the shit like, that gets anything with demons and ghosts yes demons and ghosts yeah Oh, Demons and Ghosts from... Uh, There's a lot of fucking shit on there. Oh, speaking of that, Cabinet Curiosities. How, how, you watch some of that yet? Tomorrow. Oh, glad you mentioned it. So tomorrow, I'm doing a watch party for that starting at 5 o'clock Eastern time. I'm going to be doing three episodes. Um, What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete the schedule for episode two, and I'm just going to let them play back to back to back. For the three episodes instead of like stopping in between i may stop to pause it to go pp and all that oh so you're doing a six hour marathon going no three what? three episodes. oh yeah they're an hour each that's right they're, yeah. they're like an hour each. And, yeah, other, right. and the reason why i'm doing it like that is because like i was saying earlier in the episode that um the wednesday show is coming out november 23rd yeah so I need this to end November 16th, I believe it is, that Wednesday before then, because I'm going to be streaming Wednesday, which will be on Netflix, people in Stream Lounge with me, streaming that show and doing a watch party for that. And then once that's over, possibly, not definitely, but possibly, uh, we were just talking about it, Last, The Last of Us, that show's coming out in January, possibly that. We'll see. And then, like I said before, Friday the 13th, whenever that series comes out, What's up, Mick? Doing it. Got to. What's up, Mick? How's it going? What do you think about Incantation? Do you see this yep. one yet? You see this one, Mick? If you have not, I highly suggest you and Casey check this movie out. Highly recommend it. Anybody who loves horror movies. Actually, I'm moving my score up to a nine. I really like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just thinking about it more. I'm like, damn, they fucked did a great job. All right. Highly yep. recommended, Mick.
Seriously, highly recommend it. This is a really good one. This is no blood lake. It's a found footage. It is. I, I, uh, foreign. Uh, from Taiwan. Found footage movie. Yes, but sir. it's not subtitled. And it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yep. So. Definitely check it out. Hell yeah. Did hey, you, um. It. Holy shit. We both gave this movie a fucking nine. This was a good movie. I wish yeah. I wish I want to know what Chris thought about this movie. I don't know if he watched it yet or not. I don't know either. I about it. Because this is something I think he would enjoy. I think this is one of those types of those movies of like you know, it'll freak him out more than us. I'm not saying he's gonna shut it off, or, but he'll be like, Yeah, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Do the whole thing. I can see it like that. Nice. Nice, man. Nice. Finish your movie challenge. She enjoyed a lot of the horror. How many movies is the challenge? They did a lot. Yeah, how many movies did you guys end up doing, uh, Gio? Please do. And Casey and Mick, we would love to know what you guys think about it, even if you just say Oh, uh, dude, you should have you should have used see, you should have watched it when I told you. You could have used this movie as a battle to get Mick to watch it. Uh, I had fun though. I'm on there with the Greasy Strangler. You yeah, know what that, was, that, I was bigging up the other movie? Because it was fucking... Um, that movie's like herpes. You got to watch it and spread the love. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, I guess. What's that fucking movie? The Raid. Oh, The Raid and The Raid 2? Yeah, I was going up against The Raid, so I kept praising The yeah, Raid. Yeah, you automatically lost. Movie. Yeah, that's I love that movie. The Raid is fucking you know? badass. Another international movie, but that's action. Yeah, swinging different kinds of swords in both those movies. <laughs> the Raid and <laughs> Greasy Strangler. Oh. Fuck. What would you think about the uh, social worker? How the little girl calls him daddy? And he says daddy, how he talks to her and everything. Did you think, uh, did, I'm saying, did he play his role good enough where you believe that he was really like a father figure to her? Because he really did love her? Yeah. And then yeah. he really showed it towards the end of the movie. Especially <laughs> towards the end, too. Yeah. Where so the thing is with this fucking curse, the more you try to understand it, the worse it gets. Yep. Yep. The, the That's what it diet it gets stronger. So this dude is re-watching it, trying to figure it out. Start off with his nose bleeding, a tooth fell out. Then yep. he ended up slamming his head on his fucking desk and killed himself. Oh shit, good shit. 62 movies. Yeah, that's a lot, man. In total, 31 horror, 31 family horror movies for the month of October. That's awesome. That's awesome. That is a lot. Yeah. And I know you guys you did blew a me out of the water. I'm not even close. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many movies I watched. I month. probably I probably watched like 15 this month, I think. I gotta get better with that. We both do. Yeah. I get so lazy. Like, I, I just, I've been busy yeah. on the week or I watch more. But for, I've been I mean, for me, I mean personal reason I was busy last week, but uh like when I'm you know working from home and shit, watching movies. I have YouTube playing in the background. Like, I could have a fucking movie playing in the background. Mm-hmm. Same shit, just to, just to get through some more movies. I could just go right on Tubi, which I can do this now. Well, not now, but I can go right on Tubi and just let that shit play all fucking day. Mm-hmm. And just hope, cross my fingers and hope that I find a good movie. Oh, yeah, you can. You can type in and just uh hit that thing. It says, uh, continue what you think you'll I'll like. Yep. And just let it re- whatever movie pops up. Oh, nice, man. Hell yeah. Damn. Pump out that content. Fuck yeah, man. Keep doing it. <laughs> share it everywhere. Make sure you're sharing it on horror. It's short, yo, if they're short or not, it don't matter, man. People, the attention span people have, yep. they'll be clicking that button to watch out. A quick review, people are like, oh, shit. And if you didn't, start doing it, GL. Share that shit in the group. That's awesome, though. Or tell your wife the shit. Fuck, man. I wish I'd fucking try to do it for a goal. 62 movies damn you could do it i mean you figure all right let me do the math i could probably watch four to five movies a day at home if if i'm not in the office at work yeah and you got to figure where so every other so five what do we have at home 10 days 10 days at home 10 days in the office so it's 10 days it's five days home five days in the office no, but I'm saying, oh, all together. Okay. Between, yeah, 10 and 10. So it's like 
if you can max out on however many movies, even if, even if you just do it for Monday, Wednesday, you know what I mean? For those days you're working from home, not including the weekends. But if you're including weekend overtime, not including, yeah. I mean, yeah, even including the podcast movies, those count. I mean, yes, you're yeah. going to watch them anyway, but they still count as movies you watch. So that's oh, all. Damn, that. he's going to do a Christmas movie one for December. Damn, man. Do it. Yes, hell yeah. Are you now what what genre are you doing? Are you doing like family Probably horror? Just anything Christmas? Anything Christmas? Like if you need some Christmas horror movies, let me know. Let us know and we'll do Die Hard it. is not a Christmas movie. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Don't let James fool you. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Batman Returns is a Christmas movie. Oh, Superman okay. The Christmas movie. Two, two movies a day, one horror and one family. Nice. Five very tough. I know I did it one time. That's why I said between four to five. Because I believe I did watch five in one day. But that's I don't know what happened, how that happened, but it's it's nice. more like four is easier to do. Nice. I, I can easily do it. I just don't. I just well here's my thing too. Like I, I list I love listening, watching other podcasts. Like I'll watch um when I'm awake or when I'm working this Friday, I missed it because I was asleep, but I was off. But Friday when I'm working, especially when I'm working from home, I watch uh, the Scene Sometimes Morning Show, which is a dope show, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., three hours Eastern time. Damn. Yeah, that's breakfast. You can have breakfast with the Scene Sometimes. Incantation, though. James, would you watch this movie again? Because you're not big yeah. on watching movies again. You're, you, well, you I don't go for it, but like if someone want like I would watch this again for some reason it came up where someone's okay. like, hey, you want to watch this? Is your mom into horror like that? Uh, not really. All right, your sister. Hey, James, I want to watch a movie with you. Pick something, pick a really good horror movie. You pick I can movie? put this on. I'm like, did you ever see this one? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, definitely. It's that good, man. It's just like I said, this is the second time I've seen it. And I enjoyed it as much as I've seen it the first time. I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, damn. Oh, yeah, this movie's fucked up. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, I'll send you. I'll send you. I'll make sure I send you some, man. I'll post them in the group or something. I'll make sure I get them to you. For sure. But yeah, great movie right here, man. Yeah. Like I said, I was watching with the wife because she has like her little setup over here. How is she? Does she like it? She liked it a lot. She liked it a lot. And there's parts that made I had a feeling she was. That's why I asked her. I was like, did your wife ever see this? And you're like, she's watching with me. I was like, oh, nice. Mm Mm-hmm. And then I was really I was curious what she thinks because I think this is her type of shit too. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, she loved this. She loved she liked this a lot. Fucking I don't know if you guys seen the uh, special episode on Saturday that I did with Smart NATO, the awesome podcast, a part of the uh, Zeno. Yep. The wrestling podcast. Pro wrestlers versus zombies. So make sure you guys go check that out on No thanks. No, not the movie. I'm talking about the episode. Oh. Go check that episode. Oh no, the episode, yeah. I I, I viewed some of it. Check out the episode. Watch the whole thing, unlike James did. <laughs> I was I was uh, ch- chatting in there, you know. No, he he like the... Um, and good, y'all... yeah, but good podcast though. Monday morning. Fun. Monday morning. It brings you back. It does. You yo, start you start thinking of fucking wrestling and shit when yo, you were watching that. Right. I, I told him. I was like, yo, I got two ideas for your show. I was like, what you guys? I was like, is it cool if I pitch into? They said, yeah. And the two ideas were one was uh, reviewing matches. Like just having a guest on here and there, or between the two of them, even just review, like just pick doing, like iconic <laughs> matches or something that they remembered. Like, pick your favorite. Pick your like. Say if you were to go on their show and they're like, "Hey, James, what was your favorite wrestling match of all time?" Before you come on the show, let us know your favorite. Go back and watch it. We're gonna watch it. Let us know ahead of time so we can all watch the match. Blah blah blah. And then you go back and watch it, and you know what I mean. Then you oh, just I, I got a match top of my head that I I don't think it's my favorite, but it's it's a top match ever. Which one? Shawn Michaels versus Razor Ramon ladder match. Oh, fucking! There was a few of them, but yes, yes, so, that would be I'm, a good one to to review. That was actually like number three on my list, believe it or not. Any of their ladder matches, though, I was a bigger Shawn fan. I mean, Shawn was my favorite wrestler, but um, my, mine was Brett the Hitman Hart. My first was um, Undertaker Mankind. Damn, there any match? But I'll say Undertaker Mankind Hell in a Cell. Because Undertaker Mankind was my favorite rivalry. Um, Sean versus Undertaker Hell in a Cell was two, and then Sean versus Razor was three. Mm. And then if I mean if I want to throw a fourth in, I, I 
just because the Hell in a Cell shit is one. I'll say any Undertaker versus Mankind match, especially that had like the no rules, basically crazy shit going. I know on. what you're talking about. But um, yeah, that was the one idea. I forgot the second. Oh, the, the second idea was when Peacock does connect with Stream Lounge, watch parties, like because you know they have money in it, the paper. Oh room, yeah, little watch party, right? Boom. Yeah, someone else said that uh, Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker versus and uh, the wrestle one of the WrestleMania matches or both of them. Yeah, yeah. That the only time he fought him was the WrestleManias, right? Two of them. He had a re. Uh, he uh, Undertaker gave him a rematch. No, they've they've wrestled more than just those two because Shawn um, wrestled them. I think that was a King, not King of the Ring, in your house pay per view. Oh um, yeah, you're right. Okay, you're right. But no, Shawn Michaels fought uh, Undertaker twice in WrestleMania. Two. WrestleManias. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I, he begged them for a rematch, and Undertaker's like, "No, no, no." Then he did something, and Undertaker says, "Fine." Okay. And he beats him again. Yeah. But um, but, shit. Yeah. Fucking martyrs <sighs> is next, guys. Yeah, martyrs. I I don't. Part of me feels like I've seen it, but I cannot remember at all. So. It might be a first time watch, and I heard it's fucked up, and I it's can't wait to see it. Crazy, like I'm watching so. it again. So I did a watch party for it last, I believe last Wednesday, and I was like, or no, it was two weeks ago. It was two weeks ago. Either way, I was like, I need to watch this shit again. I don't remember what day I streamed it, but I was like, I need to watch this shit again. And I was like, you know what? Matter of fact, we need to review this shit. I almost threw it on the wheel. I was like, nah, fuck that. We gotta review this shit soon because. Because even more so because of the last, because of the Dear Samurai movie, I think it was. Oh, yeah. With the action in it. The, you know what I mean? I was like, yo, you want to see some crazy shit? Martyrs is it. So, yeah. I'm, now, I'm, we're talking about the original, right? Like the first one? From 08, from 2000. Right. Nice. So, okay. Yeah, well, I, I can't. No. Sounds good. But uh, I guess we could wrap this one up. Yeah. Um, I'm keeping my nine. Definitely, yeah, hell yeah. De- highly recommend. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Definitely, listen seriously, people. If you've never seen this movie before, and if you're into like the found footage, found footage, international, yes, found footage, international. Give this movie a fucking watch. Demonic like, type shit. It it's it's fucking. It it's really good. It it really is, and. Just enjoy it. It's one of those ones. Just kick back and enjoy it. Um, pay attention to it. Definitely pay the fuck close attention to it because it's it's one of those. They're gonna be like, oh shit, and it it's it's gonna hit you in the feels. I'm not saying like crying in tears. But it's gonna be like damn, shit. Did that really have to happen? Anyways, people, highly recommend it. Nine. That movie does get the search thirty stamp of approval, and I do need to work on something behind the scenes to make myself a new search thirty stamp of approval. That is dope looking or whatever but uh until then actually watch party tomorrow five o'clock eastern time link is in the description and uh yeah so i'll see some of you wednesday hopefully and i'll see you guys again thursday i'll see you in your nightmare oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. bugging make sure you guys check out <laughs> z network every single person on z network including these four right here worst damn gamer Dreams of Creator, Any Last Words, So Good It's Scary. They're damn there on every single social media, so follow them on every single social media you can find them on. Joe also has a Patreon. Follow them everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. The whole Z Network. There's a link tree in the description. Hit that link tree in the Z Network description and follow every single person, every single place. Please do. Please do. And of course, every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, you can come here and watch Horror Resource 30 live. And we're going to be reviewing some shit. We're going to be talking some shit, having some jokes, having some fun, having some laughs, all that good stuff. Go to horrorresource30.com. You can get all of my links. And if all goes well, I'm planning on it. I got to fix some shit up, get some shit together. But I'm hoping for at some point in 2023 to have, you know, merch on the website. So we'll talk. We'll see. Got to fix some things up, but I'm putting it out there. Popcorn and Pints every Saturday, 9 o'clock Eastern time. Bet you guys tune in. These next two weeks are Chicks Picks Wheels. And then, uh, yeah, we may be bringing in a new wheel after these two weeks are up. We'll see. Actually, we will be bringing in a new wheel after these two weeks are up. Um, of course, it's going to be something for our better halves to choose. 
So, yeah, tune in for that, people. Stories from a Bar, everywhere listen to podcasts. All that good shit. Follow Stories from a Bar everywhere. Awesome podcast. He's also going to be doing some other. He's been telling us some dope things he's going to be doing behind the scenes. So, yeah, just watch Stories from a Bar. People follow him everywhere. Trust me, you're going to want to follow him everywhere. And, again, check out that Z network. Check it out. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Gio. Thanks, everybody. Who, uh, yeah, thanks here. for tuning in. Please like, share, all that good stuff. You guys know it helps with the algorithms. Like, share, tell your friends, family, everybody, enemies, anybody. Just share it. Just hit it. that share. Get share. It out there. Tag them. You know, tweet them, email them, all that good shit. But I'm out of here. You guys have a great night. I'll see you in your nightmares. Peace.